let's analyze step input response of high pass rc circuit what is high pass rc circuit it is like this this is your resistor r this is v output this is v input okay this is c what is step input voltage it is like this that is v input is v for t greater than 0 and how do we write it mathematically we write v input is equal to 0 for for t less than 0 and it is equal to v for t greater than equal to 0 so this is mathematical expression this is graph <coughs> okay so let's analyze what will be the output voltage when this this type of voltage is applied to this circuit that is this voltage is applied here then what will be the output okay so let's assume v output as a function of t is given as b1 plus b2 e to the power minus t by tau that is a time constant let's say our solution is like this and we'll find what is b1 and b2 okay what is tau you know time constant is rc <clears throat> let's say at t equal to not equal to when t tends to infinity that is after a long time what will happen after this this becomes zero so let's say after uh, some good time has passed what will be the output voltage and let's say our output voltage at that, that time will be vf so if you put in this equation what you will get v output that is vf will become b1 because this is t infinity it becomes zero so from here we get the value of b1 and what is the value so we know b1 is bf so vf so b1 is vf okay now what will be the value at t equal to zero the moment we have applied the signal that is this t equal to zero at at t equal to zero this behaves as a short circuit you know that capacitor behaves as a short circuit at t equal to zero and at t equal to infinity it behaves as an open circuit so at t equal to zero it behaves as a short circuit this means whatever we have input voltage will be available at the output so our v output will be v input so if we put v input here we will get vf plus b2 because at t0 this is 1 so from here what we get b2 is equal to b2 is equal to vi minus vf so we can put the value here vi minus vf into e to the power minus t by tau okay we are trying to find the solution or this is a capacitor so what it will do it will not let dc component of the voltage pass through it you can see this is the this is dc component in this expression because it is not varying with respect to time so this will be zero vf will be zero so when vf is zero we have simply vi this thing and at t equal to zero what will be vi vi will be equal to this v only input voltage is v only that is vi is v only so finally from this we get v output is equal to v e to the power minus t by tau so this is the expression okay so for t greater than 0 v output is v into e to the power minus t by tau this is the expression that we have uh, deducted we can get this expression by laplace transformation also how let's see so now what i am doing we have found the value of the output voltage as a function of time we'll establish that relation by laplace transform see what is v input this plus this and what is this you know it is 1 by c i dt across this and this is v output this you know <coughs> now what is this v output is basically i into r 
So if you put i, here you have i. So what you will get? You will get 1 by rc here and this is v output dt plus v output. But you know rc is what? rc is tau. So we can instead of this we can write 1 by tau. Now let us take Laplace transform of this. What we will get? We will get v i. But what is v i? v i is v. v i is v at for t equal to and greater than 0 v i is v. So, this becomes v by s. I am taking this at this is v. So, v I am taking Laplace transform this then v by s and this will be equal to v 0 s in the s domain by s into tau plus what we have v 0. So, this is v 0 s. You can take v 0 s common that is what is this? This is 1 plus 1 by s tau. Okay. Or this you can write as v0 s s tau 1 plus s tau. Okay. Now this is v by s. So s s cancels. What you actually get is so what you get? You get v output equal to v into 1 sorry tau by 1 plus s tau or we can take tau out then what you will get? You will get 1 by s plus 1 by tau. Okay. So, if you take inverse Laplace transform of this what you will get? In the time domain you will get this is equal to v into e to the power minus t by tau. Now, this is the same expression that we got from you know logical deductions logical uh, expressions. So, this is V output T voltage at this point as a function of input voltage, step input voltage. Okay. See, if this is time and this is output voltage, let this be Vi that is your V, then output voltage will be like this. With time it decreases. So, this is like this and you will have like this if this is for tau 1 this is for tau 2 this is for tau 3 obviously tau 1 is greater than tau 2 greater than tau 3 okay so for step input voltage this is the response let's see pulse input response of a high pass rc circuit see this is what is pulse pulse is like this so if we are taking from 0 let us say this point is p for pulse. So, this is your v i this is your time. So, how do we represent it? v i is equal to v if this is v for 0 to that is between 0 and t p the voltage is v input voltage elsewhere it is 0. So, this is mathematical representation and this is your graphical representation. We have just seen that if you just forget about this, this is step input voltage. So, between this and this that is between 0 to Tp our output voltage will be we have just see just seen it this will be V e to the power minus T by tau, tau is the time constant of the circuit. Okay, so it will go like this. I am drawing the figure also. Let us say so, this is your TP. Let us draw the output voltage. This is your input, this is your output voltage. So, up to this point, it behaves. In this manner v e to the power minus t by tau that is it will decay if this is v let us say this is v it will decay up to this point that is it will be like this up to this point. Now what happens at t equal to t p voltage suddenly drops by v see what is the drop here v so the voltage suddenly drops by v now we have a capacitive network 
this is a capacitive network okay so what happens it drops by v so if this is v it will drop by v now if this is let's say vp surely vp is less than v so when it drops by v it goes to the negative part and then it decays back to zero like this it decays back okay so this is the response when you have a pulse input it drops and then it decays to zero now this is very you have a very important you must understand let's say this is our tp okay so it can drop like this or it can drop like this there are two possibilities so let's say this is tau 1 this is tau 2 so definitely tau 1 way is greater than tau 2 that is with as the time constant decreases this curve actually gets more and more distorted tilted tilted on this end if this is very low this will be like a spike like this so this will behave like a spike so this is the relation when tau differs okay clear